Hi friends, I'm Azur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about SQL Server weight types and how to uh, trace and tune database performance issues. So uh, it is a big challenge for database administrators to trace performance issues, tune and maintain database server effectively. I receive many queries regarding database performance issues. Some issues are uh, uh, come after migration some issues are ad hoc and some when database grows after a period so primary objective for a DBA is to trace and tune performance issues periodically generate a regular reports compare new statistics with old statistics and find out the improvement possibilities in some cases uh, tunings are possible but in some uh, scenarios tuning are not possible and you have to upgrade your hardware to resolve the problems so here we are going to uh, find out with uh, statistics to trace performance issues. Normally front-end users submit their requests and uh, expect that they get output instantly. But scenario is different behind the server and that request goes from front-end application to back-end server and processes data from database and sends the output to end users. Now this uh, request involves processing time, wait time, idle time and total response time etc. You can understand in a large environment where thousands of users are involved requesting different data uh, from server how can be the actual situation. So we have, here we are going to discuss about couple of TMVs which provides historical and real-time information about bottlenecks. SQL Server 2012 has 649 weight types out of which few are, few are very useful to find the performance issues and a few are less useful depending on scenarios and situations. So there are uh, different categories of dynamic management uh, objects like sys.dm exec category, then you have sys.dm os category, then you have sys.dm tran category, then you have sys.dm db category and uh, sys.dm io category. Okay. So you can check the DMVs list in Object Explorer. I will show you. So this is my uh, database, SQL Server Management Studio. You can uh, connect to Object Explorer. Go to Database. Select your database. Okay. Select your database. Then go to Views. Then click on System Views. Now here you can see. All the DMVs, dynamic management views are available. Okay, you can go and refer it. As you can see, all this DM tran, then you have sys.dmos. Okay, all these DMVs are available. Here we are going to discuss this sys.dmos wait states and sys.dmos waiting tasks. So, sys.dm wait states. If you right click it, select top 1000 rows, you'll get this information. Wait type and all these details are available. I'll just close it. Okay, and I'll uh, execute this one. Select a start from sys.dm OS wait state, order by wait time ms descending. I'll just execute it. Now you have all these details. So sys.dmos wait states this dynamic management view provides historical information about how long a task was waiting for particular wait type. After last uh, statistics a reset or uh, database instance restarted. Once you'll restart your instance data uh, data is not available. Okay or if you'll reset the statistics. So you need to collect lots of uh, statistics over a period of time to come to any conclusion. You cannot uh, conclude um, like uh, if your server is restarted today or tomorrow and then you are coming with the conclusion that this is the problem. So you cannot uh, uh, verify that. So if you will see uh, in sys.dmos wait states you have a uh, wait type column wait uh, waiting task count wait time ms max wait time ms and signal wait time ms so basically wait type it provides 
uh, name of the wait time it is actually uh, categorized into resource weights Q weights and external weights so your next is waiting task count so it indicates how frequently the weight is occurring and uh, provides number of weights and counter value is incremented higher counts help to trace issues easily you have wait time ms uh, this is total wait time including signal wait time ms this one okay so as soon as execution stops and task is waiting for resources the value increases then your max wait time ms this column uh, it gives information about maximum wait time in milliseconds on particular wait type then you have signal wait time ms uh, it indicates time duration between thread run request to running states okay so if you want you can uh, reset this information okay because this is historical information so you can use dbcc sql puff then you can uh, give your sys.dms wait states dmv and clear and execute this okay then next is sys.dm uh, os waiting tasks this one this dynamic management view provides a real time information about a task which is waiting for resource availability and is very useful to track the bottleneck when a task is waiting for resource it gets moved to a waiting list and when resource is available the task is moved to running group and waits for execution requests so you can use this uh, dmv when you observe server slowness or uh, when query execution takes abnormal time so i'll just execute it so you'll get all these details okay so you can uh, do it order by wait duration ms order by wait duration ms Or uh, what you can do, you can uh, join this uh, sys.dms waiting task with sys.dm execute sessions. You can join this, or I can give your uh, wait duration uh, millisecond ms. Okay, yeah, I have given 10 seconds. You can give your uh, not three seconds or four seconds, whatever you want. Okay, so as um, uh, these uh, wait types are uh, approximately uh, it is total uh, 649 is equal to 2012 so it is difficult to explain all wait types here but major uh, wait types which are commonly traced are uh, CX packet SS scheduler yield then you have uh, async network IO a write log Okay, so normally uh, when you will fire these queries uh, on your production servers, you will uh, get these wait uh, types. Okay, so you can uh, read this text article uh, from my website. Thank you for watching my video. You can visit to my uh, website sqlserverlog.com and uh, I have put article here, SQL Server Wait Types present tune database performance issues you can uh, go through this article okay and uh, you can uh, subscribe to a newsletter or join me on Facebook or uh, you can uh, subscribe to YouTube videos on my channel and if you have any query you can uh, leave a reply okay thank you